Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I'm sitting in front of my laptop and I'm gonna watch the new Game Changers trailer. I already saw a little bit of it. Let me tell you, I am outraged. Let's get to it. One and only, Arnold Schwarzenegger! I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak. That's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real man eat meat. Serious man food. But you got to understand, that's marketing. That's not based on reality. Okay, that's marketing. That's not reality. There he is, Arnold Schwarzenegger. A man that built his physique, his career on meat, telling you that it's all marketing. So the blueprint that made him, made him to the man that he is, is just marketing. Sure, it's absolutely crazy to see me growing up being the biggest Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. I like to give him the benefit of the doubt. I like to believe that Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't know any better. I like to believe that Arnold Schwarzenegger is good friends with James Cameron, who is a vegan of sorts, allegedly an environmentalist, and hence Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to return the favor, so to speak, right? James Cameron made Arnold Schwarzenegger the Terminator. So therefore, hey, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. But to be totally honest, of course, I can't believe it myself. Arnold Schwarzenegger is involved in too deep politics, obviously, not only because he was the governator. Arnold Schwarzenegger is in the same team like the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth. It is sad. It is something that I do not want to accept, but it is the truth. And therefore, Arnold Schwarzenegger pushes this vegan propaganda movie. I've been teaching fighting techniques to government agencies for more than 15 years. Then I got injured, unable to teach for at least six months. I spent more than a thousand hours studying science on recovery and nutrition and stumbled across a study about the Roman gladiators. The gladiators were predominantly vegetarian. How could the original professional fighters be so powerful eating only plants? How could be the original fighters be so powerful? Yeah, how could they be? Those were slaves. Yes, they ate slave food. How long was the shelf life of a gladiator? How long did they live? Those guys were captured. Those guys were fed the worst shit food. And then they killed each other. They were fighting each other to the death. They were starving. Ever heard of starvation hysteria? Yes. It amplifies you and you are hungry. You get into hunting mode because all you want is meat. It makes you more aggressive. That is why vegans are so aggressive. When I made the switch to a plant-based diet, I qualified for my third Olympic team. I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. Hey man, nah, you shouldn't have done this a long while ago because where is Kendrick Ferris now? As so many vegans, in the beginning you experience the starvation hysteria. Then, yeah, for a short, brief interval, you perform better. And then you injure yourself. And then you cannot recover from your injury. And then you quit your career. That's it plant-based, I wasn't sure if I was going to survive. And I actually became like a machine. <laughs> yeah, like a machine, as I just said. Again, just starvation hysteria. Nothing new. Now we see here the executive producers. Novak Djokovic. Not vegan any longer. And the same goes for Arnold Schwarzenegger as well. It is the most hypocritical act in human history to promote a vegan diet and to not be vegan yourself. This is why I like to give him the benefit of the doubt and to not say Arnold Schwarzenegger is the biggest shill of all times because I know for a fact as long as you haven't been vegan, 
you just gather a little bit of information, a little bit of anecdotes, you see a fit vegan, you do not know how long he or she has been vegan, but you say, yeah, sure, it seems to be a good idea. Therefore, again, of course, just positive thinking, man. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, absolute childhood hero, the last action hero, now the newest vegan shill. The biggest misconception in sports nutrition is that we have to have animal protein to perform at a high level. That's just not true. There you have an obese guy in a suit telling you that it's not true, that you need animal protein. Hmm. Yeah. Absolute authority. 100%. Let's listen to the fat guy in the suit. What does he know? Absolute ridiculous. If you talk to real nutritionists, real MMA fighters, real athletes, real bodybuilders, you will see the importance of animal foods, especially as athletes. Sometimes you have to do things that you know your competitors aren't doing. Today's blood. Shocking, groundbreaking science. Yeah, or more vegan brainwashing, aka cherry picking of studies to brainwash the masses. Propaganda at its finest. And yesterday's blood. I think this is going to wake a lot of people. There we saw Nima Delgado, who looks like an absolute soy boy now, the epitome of losing gains. And the same goes for Patrick Baboumian. They record this video seven years ago when he just was a new vegan. Nowadays, he looks like any other vegan. Career ended, gains lost. Always the same story. I was recovering better, not getting as sore. This was our best season in the last 15 years, and we had 14 guys on plant-based diets. We all want to feel great, have more energy. Cholesterol was 276. Today, 169. Wow! Wow! 276, 169. Yes, yeah, so what? So what? How about the inflammation? How about the calcification? So what if the cholesterol is lower? This has been debunked. Such useful idiots sitting there on the table, a guy in front of you with a kale shirt reading you the science. You have high cholesterol, now you have low cholesterol. Goal achieved, yes, idiots. Oh, now you're talking. Now you're talking, what the fuck? Guys, my age can keep up with the grandchildren. My grandchildren can't keep up with me. It's not one set of dietary guidelines for improving your performance as an athlete. Another one for reversing heart disease, reversing diabetes. It's the same for all of them. Yeah, again, same old footage seven years ago. Patrick Baboumian lost his gains. The guy that they showed there, the doctor, Ornish, if you look into his diet, yes, it is plant-based but it is not vegan. I talked about that in my Dr. Garth Davis debunking video. Absolute bullshit, absolute propaganda. That's all. Someone asked me, how could you get a strong? Misha Janietz, really cool dude, not gonna hate on him, but let's face it, built all of his muscle on a meat-based diet. Tons and tons of meat, now plant-based, maintaining. That's it as an ox without eating any meat and my answer was have you ever seen an ox eating meat yeah have you ever seen an ox eating meat have you ever seen an ox with the digestive tract of a human with one gut have you ever seen that the logic of vegans is ridiculous they like to blame meat he doesn't tell them you're not a lion yeah but you're not an ox either jesus All right, and that is it. Guys, the only reason why I make this video, I couldn't care less about all the puppets in this video. The only reason why I am outraged is, as I said already, that Arnold Schwarzenegger is promoting this dogmatic bullshit propaganda. I'm really, really sad to see that. I talked to other hardcore fans of Arnold as well. They already ripped their posters off the wall. It is an absolute shame. But what do you expect of a popular political figure? It is the un 
unfortunate truth. It is really, really sad. And this is how the vegans want to get you, of course. They want to put in many, many famous people into one propaganda movie and then promote a lie. And it is an outrage that people that have to thank the animals that they ate, they have to thank the meat, the nutrition that they got for building their bodies, they will promote plants now. It is absolutely ridiculous. Arnold Schwarzenegger would never be Mr. Olympia with potatoes, lentils and tofu. Alright guys, and this is for today's video. Uh, have to cool down a little bit. Guys, if you want to support the channel, the easiest way is to go through our Amazon portal. The link is in the description box. You just go through our portal, buy whatever you want to buy and Bobby's Perspective gets a small cut. If you want to support on Patreon, that is even better, of course. Thanks a lot for your support. I'm going to cut it off here, guys. As always, much love and peace.